Hey everyone, welcome back to another Ghost of the Boar video. Today we're going to be doing a map guide on Missile Silo. I'm going to show you guys spawn and extraction locations and the top down floor maps of them. Thanks to Ghost of the Boar Wiki for the images. I'm just going to shout them, shout them out now so that I can get that out of the way. If you guys haven't already, go check out my TikTok page. I do events and updates there and just some cool videos if you guys want to see that. And maybe leave this video a like or subscribe if you guys like this content. But yeah. Let's get on with the guide. So right here is level three of Missile Silo, the highest floor that you can get on besides the elevator extract. The purple point is the spawn. So that is where you spawn when you spawn up here. The yellow arrow is the stairs going down to level two. There's not much on this floor. So I think that's all we really need to go over. There's only one spawn and there's a couple loot spots, but they're not really that important, nor are they that good. So I say if you spawn here and just head to middle room and I'll show you where middle room is later in just a second. Okay, so this is level two, and I didn't mark anything, but it's still the same. Green is the extracts, purple is the spawn points. They're kind of hard to see, but I'll run, I'll zoom in on them just to make everything more clear. We're going to start in parking garage. After you see that spawn point in the top left, we're going to be moving through to APC. To the left of the APC is the extraction point. To the right of the APC is a way to get to level zero. Um... If we go straight ahead from the APC, we have a room that splits into three and it goes into separate hallways. You're going to get to this skylight room that has a boss spawn usually. That's where the boss usually spawns with the automatic SKS. And then there's an extraction point right next to it. If we went past the skylight room, we get to the silo and the purple key card room split off. If you move left from there, you get to the purple key card room which has a decent amount of loot. I've been in there before. Not too good, not too bad. You can move into office and kitchen. There's also a spawn. Office and kitchen both have med pens if you need them. We're going to head back over to the silo. It's just the silo. If you wrap all the way around, you'll get to the other side of the level two where you can walk through and you can go to the other side of parking garage. So top right, we have a player spawn and... Just there actually is some pretty good loot spawns over there, so we do spawn there, loot that real quick, and that just wraps up back to parking garage. Now we're gonna head over to the other side of the map. You have your stairs, and this is what we call middle room, or what I call middle room. It has all the NPCs, and you have to open up the shaft door to get into there. That's what those yellow bars are, and it has an extraction point on the other side if you need it, and just a loot box, and then there's just a hallway leading to purple keycard room and silo and skylight split off but yeah that's level two now we're heading on to level one this one's a lot smaller and there's not really much here so below middle room on level two there's this area you can see there's one spawn on this and we're gonna start at train tracks actually so you spawn there you can run left immediately and you can get to the missile silo there's a few loot places on that level you can move all the way to the right and there's just a box there's like a weapon box and a grenade box i think you run to the other side it's the control room or whatever you walk in there's a box to your right and there's a box on the other side but it just is displaying some things and usually a fennec spawn here so i would say watch out for that if you can we're gonna head back to the train tracks and there's a med pen spawn right here and then you get to the stairs there is sometimes a weapon spawn on that plywood pile which is right here and if you move further up, you're going to get into the Sector 8 area, which is all the way on the far left. There's an extraction point there, and there's usually four Fenix that sit there. There's an armor spawn, a grenade crate, and there's also a weapon crate, but the lower tier one, obviously. But that wraps it up for level 1. We're going to head to level 0 real quick. So this is level 0, and we're going to start on the spawn on the left. If you head right and then take another right, you're going to get to the stairwell. There's a couple, there's a box that's an armor box that usually is like helmets or components for your chest rigs. Now, say we went past that and went to elevator shaft. There's an extract at the very top of elevator shaft, and there's not really much there besides it leads to the other levels. And then if you run down that hallway of elevator shaft, you can make it to the extract or the boss's layer on basement. So the boss can spawn here with the SKS, but usually there's just like two or three Fenix in there. And there's a lot of Fenix on this level patrolling this hallway too. 
and there's a there's two weapon boxes in the boss's lair. If you head all the way to the right to the missile silo, you can wrap all the way around and get to the other player spawn that goes up to level two, and you can take that way to get all the way around to the elevator room. But that wraps it up for this guide. It really wasn't too long. Silo is a small map and it's easy to explain. There's not many player spawns and there's not many extraction points. In fact, there's more extraction points than there are people. So it's a fun map overall. And I really hope this helped out with some of you guys not knowing Silo too well. And maybe you found some places that you never knew even existed. And I'd recommend exploring those parts on offline raid. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I want to keep the content. So hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.